I'm going to shift click smart apply in order to get a duplicate clone. And we're just going to just grab this vertice ring. Jesus, why well, won't let me select this vertice ring? Let's go in local mode. All right, so after selecting that edge ring after very much difficulty, I'm going to press control I and delete everything else. And using B for box select, we're just going to delete everything else. And we're just going to extrude this piece down. And coming out of local mode, we now have basically this little droop. Uh, we could just duplicate it over. And let's actually duplicate it over a couple of more times. So we want these two to be met with F, those two to be met with F, these two to be met with F, basically giving us kind of like a little drooping rope, right? And so the idea is that you can control click smart apply to turn it into a curve, but you could press V in order to change its type. So we want to change it into a nerve, but we don't want to give it any thickness because otherwise it'll look like a drooping cable. We actually want to press X and just turn it into a curve, just a general curve. And from here, we can just press Q and choose two rope in order to convert this into a rope. And just like that, that's how easy it is to just quickly just add some rope. However, because this has been changed as far as its curve type, we do have to extrude a little bit in order to get it to play right because poly curves are just or nerve curves or whatever I changed it to. It's just a lot different than the default curves that you're used to.